This water looks like the water in Houston. <laughs> so welcome back in to the Bearded Bros Golf Show. I was pretty sure after they moved the Chevron Championship over to the Woodlands right outside of Houston that we weren't going to see scenes like that. But they were able to improvise, dredge out a little creek, uh, create a little dock area out there on the 18th green. So we got to see a repeat of that, of this original scene. Uh, this clip came from 1988. And so, um, you know, Lilia Vu capturing her first major and second tournament in her professional career, you know, in short order, becoming a star, came down to a playoff hole between her and Angel Yin. Um, both Americans, um, you know, battled it out and Yin threw it in the water on 18 after kind of either hitting her five iron fat uh, going into the 18th green on the first playoff hole. So fantastic finish. What do you think about the move? After 51 years at Mission Hills in California, we have a new venue, you know, new new fields, new views. What do you think of it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess anything to grow the game and, you know, put new eyes on it. So no problem with that. But I mean, when you're messing with lineage, like I feel like, got to make sure it's going to be a spectacular course and make sure everybody's in agreement that it's a fun course. And, you know, because they're going to try to do the thing, same thing for with this course. They're going to try to make it last a long time. They're going to try to make it a venue that's going to be a standstill, not have to move around a lot. So um, if the right people are involved and I think they're going to keep, you know, improving the, the Carlton Woods course, then I think it's a good move. But, I mean, it's just – it's going to be awkward for a few years going from, you know, California in the same course we've always seen, the same part five that's, you know, a risk reward hole. And then, of course, we have the manicured pond right next to it that plays right into the hole anyways. So, you know, just having the change is going to be a little different. But I mean, overall, I like it. And um, congrats to Lilia Vu. You know, she put it butt off that final round again. Uh, went four under, so you know she pretty much went out there and earned it. And uh, Angel Yen, you know, helped her out a little bit. So I think all in all, it was a really good week for the LPA LPGA still. Yeah, even you know Angel Yen had a good chance to. I think four holes out, she was up one stroke, and then went into sixteen and really just started losing it. You know, regained her confidence on the eighteenth hole, was able to. I uh, landed on the green uh, in two and had a putt for Eagle to win it outright um, and then ended up, you know, coming back with the clutch, you know, birdie putt to end up in that playoff. But I know I hate seeing, you know, athletes struggle coming down the stretch mentally and you could see her struggling and, and losing some shots, making some tough decisions, heading it out of a bunker, going back and forth with her caddy and really not being confident in her decision making. It's kind of like watching a kicker go down to the end. Um, you know, of a football game and it all landing on his foot. I just, right. I hate that. <laughs> it just makes me uncomfortable. Um, I think even one of the broadcasters mentioned that their heart was beating just as hard, you know, on those those final putts on the green. So congrats to her, you know, to Lilia Vu for, you know, really, you know, having a hell of a year. Um, hopefully, as we've right. seen, even on the PGA Tour and LPGA Tour, players coming and going, winning, and then, you know, maybe not being able to keep that going. Even when they went through the list of winners of this event for the past five years, it's been first-time winners, but we haven't seen a crap ton out of those ladies after the fact. And, you know, we see kind of similar similar things on the, on the PGA Tour where somebody gets their first win and we don't see them coming back around for a while. So, um, you know, I hope that she's able to keep the good play going and, you know, continue this run of success. And the LPGA is off to their first major of the year. I, I just thinking about this, I don't really have a strong opinion one way or another, but they have five majors. Um, you know, what do you think about, you know, the men having four, the ladies having five on their end? Do you think it makes a difference? Do you think they should, I don't know, they've been at five for a while. Do you have a feeling one way or another on, on five versus four? I mean, I think the LPGA season is a little bit more, I feel like, stretched out. Everything with the PGA is so manicured and so organized. I feel like the LPGA always is kind of 
you know, unfortunately second fiddle and fumbling and kind of stumbling to get kind of things going. So they're really trying to fit a lot of things in. So like the Evian, the fifth major, I like it being at the end of the year, about September or something like that. Just something to get our eyes back on LPGA, you know, because just like what happened this beginning of the year, you see them for a few weeks and then they'll be off for two or three weeks and they'll be kind of put on the back burner and everything like that. So I feel like five majors plays into it very well for them because the PGA doesn't need another major to get the attention and views that the LPGA does. Because, of course, we have the players, the unofficial fifth majors. Then we have the FedEx playoffs. Then, of course, we have, you know, at the end of the year, Ryder Cup or President's Cup. Then right after that, we still have off-season field events that start right around, start right back up. And then the um, the European tour events go longer in the year. So I feel like when it comes to the male's point of view, there's always some premium type golf going on as compared to the LPGA, you know, which has a little bit of a more of a lull in the season. So I feel like they need a little bit more electricity with the fifth major. That's a fair point. And I think they made a really concentrated effort this year um, to get them on TV, you know, getting them on NBC during the day when, you know, the males would typically be playing. They are going up against the Zurich Classic, which honestly just wasn't a super well attended event. Just when you watch it on TV, and I don't know how that course sets up for spectators, but, you know, you had a few key groups that were out there, some names that you did know. Um, per the usual, Shoffle and Cantlay came back. But I was super proud of the LPGA and MPGA combining and with NBC to get them as much TV coverage as they possibly could. And I think the product ended up holding up pretty well, especially coming down to a playoff at the end. 